I'm Mitko and this is DreamTech Splice, the ultimate splice solution for your Unity games. Since the launch of the tool in 2016, we have had a constantly expanding customer base and have released 7 new versions. In this video I'm going to show the new features in the latest 107 version. The motion in the intro you just saw was made entirely with DreamTech Splice and no animations were used. Stick with me and I'm going to show you how everything was made. To get started, I'd like to show you the two new primitives available in version 107. The first one is the capsule primitive. This one simply creates a capsule which has a radius and a height. The second one is the rounded rectangle, which is a rectangle with rounded edges. Again, you have a radius for the edges and an X and Y size. Now to something more exciting. A lot of people have been asking about this feature for a while and it's finally here. We have overhauled the extrude mesh component and it now supports multiple meshes. Previously the extrude mesh component could only extrude and repeat one mesh, but now you can add as much of those as you like. There are two iteration modes. Ordered will iterate through the meshes in the order they are added and random will use a random seed to pick which mesh to use. The extrude mesh component now also supports cap meshes. Let's say that for example you want to make a road. The problem is that the road just cuts off pretty harshly at the ends of the spline. Now we can use cap meshes to make it look nice. Just pick the start cap mesh and the end cap one. Oh, and you don't need to make two different models for both ends. You can just use the mirroring option to make the cap mesh fit. Another mesh generation feature is the round cap for the tube generation component. Previously the tube generator only had flat caps, but now you can choose what type of cap to use. Now let's cut to the chase and get to the best part of the video, the new additions to the spline follower component. The spline follower component is the most widely used one among our customers. It provides the functionality to follow a spline with uniform or time-based speed. We spent time working on it to make it even better and this is what we got for you in 107. Custom Rotation Regions You can now make the following objects point at a certain direction different from the one of the spline. To add a custom rotation region, expand the custom rotations foldout and click add new rotation. Now type in the desired rotation and set the region using the sliders. You can also do that directly in the scene view by clicking the black cursor button. This will enter scene edit mode for the region. Using the scene handles is also really precise. You can also toggle the rotation handle by clicking the button above so you don't have to deal with input fields. Now when the car reaches this region, it's going to look in this direction. You also get to set the easing of the motion using the curve editor. The custom rotations are local to the follow results, so 90 degrees will always be perpendicular to the spline no matter how your spline is oriented. We also have custom offset regions. They do the same but with the offset of the follower. Again, you can edit those directly in the editor. And don't worry, the constant offsets of the follower are still there, they're just hidden in the transform foldout. So I can still apply a constant offset to the follower, as well as a constant rotation. We changed how motion is applied in version 107, you can now choose on which axis to apply the motion. So this is how the scene is made. The cars are spline followers which have custom rotation and offset regions. I have used triggers to make the tires smoke and wheels turn. And that's it. But in the intro there was also an off-road scene where a truck was following a path and in the same time using physics. This is because in 107 we have introduced the physics mode. Before the spline follower applied the motion to the transform thus disregarding any physical interactions. Now you can choose between transform Rigid Body and Rigid Body 2D. And the two Rigid Body modes will make sure that the follower collides properly with the environment. All this combined with the new access restriction settings helps to make realistic behaviors. So that was a brief look at the new features of DreamTech Splice 107. For full features and bug fixes list, refer to the changelog on the Asset Store page 
or to the user documentation on our website, the link to which should be appearing any second now and if it's not, you have probably turned off annotations, so put them back on and go download the user menu PDF. Thanks for watching and if you want to see some of the development vlogs of our studio, consider subscribing.